You may like... We're going to talk about pasta. You may like your pasta served with a rich sauce, maybe topped with a bit of parmesan. But the picture there kind of offers something different. Dried insects. How yes, about those? More, yeah, more than two billion people around the world eat insects every day. Many rave about them as a source of vitamins, protein as well. Sofia Petitza has been to an insect farm in northern Italy that produces pasta made from ground critters. Would you eat cricket pasta? Eating insects is nothing new in parts of the world like Asia. But is there a shift happening in Europe? This farm in northern Italy turns one million crickets into food every day. First, the crickets, still alive, are frozen, boiled, dried, and then pulverized. This is the final result, a cricket-based flour that can be added to food, like pasta, bread or pancakes. And it's good for the planet. Insects require a fraction of the land and water that is used to produce meat. What we do here is very sustainable. To produce one kilo of cricket powder, we only use about 12 litres of water, whereas producing the same amount of protein from cows requires about 60,000 litres of water. But how does this get on your plate? Some restaurants buy the flour and add it to some of the more traditional dishes, like pasta. Cricket pasta? Yes. Here we go. I'm about to taste cricket tagliatelle. This is really good. It tastes like normal pasta. I would not be able to tell that this is cricket-based flour. It's delicious. And it's a superfood. It's packed with vitamins, fiber, and minerals. One plate of cricket pasta contains as much protein as a steak. But is it a realistic option? There is one problem. It's very expensive. Cricket flour costs about 60 pounds per kilo, way more expensive than a standard bag of pasta, which costs about one pound. That means that for now, Insect food is a niche option. The meat I produce is much cheaper than cricket flour, and it's very good quality. It's healthy. I'm absolutely against these new food products. We don't know what they can do to you. A good steak makes you happy. I can't really imagine people eating crickets at restaurants. But a change in attitudes is happening. Belgium, Austria and the Netherlands are the countries that are more open-minded. And with the EU approving foods made from insects, the prices are expected to go down, which means insects could soon become a part of the European diet. Sofia Bettiza, BBC News. Anybody else, think, yeah, <laughs> food <for> <laughs> but anybody else thinking the same thing? Watching that piece and you're thinking, oh, insects, pasta, Sounds good reasonable. point. And then it says 60 times more expensive I know. than regular pasta. It's going to take some time. They need to look into the processing techniques, I imagine, and the, you know, all of that. But Way to go. Things